Porosity is the first of two essential requirements for a rock to act as a hydrocarbon reservoir. It's usually expressed as a percentage using the formula shown here. Porosity is often represented by the Greek letter phi. Most reservoirs have porosities in the range of 5 to 30 percent. Any porosity less than 5 percent is very seldom commercial and any porosity over 35 percent is extremely unusual. Porosity can be measured in the laboratory from cores and down the borehole using well logs, especially the sonic density and neutron logs. Occasionally it can even be estimated from seismic data. Here you see the three main types of porosity, interconnected, connected, and isolated. Interconnected porosity utilizes multiple pore throat passages to connect neighboring pores. Connected or dead-end porosity has only one pore throat passage connecting with another pore space. Isolated porosity has no connections between pores. Interconnected and connected pores constitute effective porosity because hydrocarbons can move out from them. In the case of interconnected porosity, oil or gas can be flushed out by a natural or artificial water drive. Connected porosity is unaffected by flushing, but may yield some oil or gas by expansion as reservoir pressure drops. Isolated porosity is unable to yield hydrocarbons. Any oil or gas they contain entered the pore space before closure by compaction or cementation. Porosity can be classified into two major types according to their origin. Primary porosity is formed when a sediment is deposited. Secondary porosity forms after deposition 